Poultry is very important to Georgia. It actually amounts to over half the farm gate value of all agricultural production in the state. Well, right now we adjust the environment through automated systems, but the possibility with this uh, research project is that uh, by, by measuring the sounds that are produced by the birds, either in terms of the sound intensity or the specific calls that they make, we may have a more immediate assessment uh, available to us of, of just the status of that flock. At the University of Georgia Poultry Research Center, we want to achieve the ability to provide better growing environments for, uh, in this case, broiler chickens, improve bird well-being, and improve the uh, production uh, performance of, of flocks just by minimizing any stressor that might impact the birds. So if you're a poultry farmer, and have been for a long time, you understand as you get near the chickens, you can listen to them and understand if they're doing well, if there's a problem. Just as if you've had the same car for many, many years and the engine starts to sound slightly different, you know there's something wrong. However, we're trying to do this automatically. So we're trying to use the sound of the chickens that we recorded over in Athens to determine a little bit about what's going on with the bird. To think about a problem, we might be like Dr. Doolittle who could speak to the animals. And so if you can envision the same thing, the animals will try to tell us a little bit about what's happening with them and how we might try to address it. Research in the past has shown that from some of these vocalizations you can tell that um, the birds are under stress or different conditions are negatively affecting them. Chicken speech is very different from human speech. In fact, we found right off that extracting certain characteristics of the chicken sounds in the same way that we extracted information about speech didn't yield very useful information. We had to step back and say, okay, what is it about these chicken sounds? How does it change when the chicken's attitudes change or the chicken's conditions change? We set up experiments where we just try and to um, look at the bird's response under different conditions. So for example, we might move the temperature levels above acceptable limits for a little bit, record that sound. We might in increase the ammonia levels, record that sound, and uh, bring that data back and then try to extract the features that were significant in those while we were conducting those experiments. We have enormous fans placed uh, at the ends and sometimes in the middle of these chicken houses. And now we are trying to listen to the nuances of something going cheep, 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 cheep in the presence of sound that's so loud that you, you can't hear a person talking to you. That's an enormous challenge. We feel that we'll be able to generate something that will be useful. We hope within another year, a couple of years, we'll actually have a device, you know, maybe no bigger than a, a cell phone or something that will be now part of a regular control system that's able to provide a little bit more intelligent feedback as to the, the, the status of the birds and their conditions in regard to animal welfare and feed that back into the control mechanism that you know, maintains their environment. We've really enjoyed working with the folks at UGA and uh, like I say, it's opened the eyes not only to me but the other researchers that are on the project. Each time we, we, we meet, we understand a little bit more about what they do understand a little bit more about some of the challenges and where our technology might be applicable. And, and, and looking towards the future, we think a lot of the problems that we're going to have to be faced are going to have to be multidisciplinary. We're going to have to understand some, those aspects of the problems and figure out how we work together to come to, you know, to, to generate solutions.